Apple Blossom coverage on the NCW Life Channel brought to you in part by Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center. Caught in a conflict? Family? Housing? Business? Call Wenatchee Valley Dispute Resolution Center at 509-888-0957 for help. We continue our get to know the top 10 candidates here on the NCW Life Channel. Now joining us, we have Ryan Salcedo, who's the daughter of Malachi and Kathy. Hi, Ryan. Hi. How are you? I'm doing really good. How are you? Good. Before I get to my questions, I want to give you an opportunity to tell us a little bit more about yourself. Yes, my name is Ryan Salcedo, like you said, and I go to the River Academy. I've been going there for 14 years, so a very long time. Yeah. And I really enjoy ultimate frisbee that's one of the sports that we play at the river academy okay. and it's so fun to play okay i've driven by there and i've mm -hmm. seen okay all right yeah, gotcha. that's me <laughs> and, and it's competitive too right yes I mean, sir we go to seattle every other weekend and play two games back to back now this is not frisbee golf this is like football frisbee right yes sir it's sprinting the whole time it says your bio you're part of the reading buddy program yes sir. what is that so every single Friday, the seniors in my class, there are 10 seniors at my school, five boys, five girls, and we all go help out the first grade students, and we just take groups of them and read to them on Fridays for about 15 minutes. Fun. So I get to read to my little cousin. Oh, that's Which is great. really sweet. That's great. And one of her best friends, and they're both firecrackers, so <laughs> it's really cool because I know both of them and their family so I can help out the teacher mm -hmm. in that which which is super cool. Now do you get to pick the reading or do they pick the reading or? They pick the reading. Oh they do. Mm -hmm. Is it the same one every Sometimes. time? Sometimes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it says that one of your treasured keepsakes is water. Yes sir. <laughs> okay. Now that's a little different. Yes. <laughs> Tell me about that. So I was thinking about it and water is definitely a treasured keepsake because we have clean water. And that's not something that you see around the world mm. a lot. Okay. And it's something that I don't want to take for granted. Ryan, why did you choose to run for Apple Blossom? I, I chose to run for Apple Blossom because I, so at the River Academy, you have to write a 20 page thesis in order to graduate your senior year. And you have to deliver that thesis in 20 minutes. And then you have 20 minutes of questions that you have to answer. Wow. It's a lot. Wow, that's serious. And then you also have a poesis, which means you go out and actually take action in what you're doing. And I realized that if I, I went to the first meeting in order to please my mom. <laughs> I feel like a lot of girls did that. I appreciate you being honest. We've yes, had a few sir. of those that yes, have said, sir. yeah, mom kind of drug me there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I was like, okay, mom, I'll go. Like, it's fine. <laughs> but I didn't think I would do it. And then I realized that if I didn't do it, I wouldn't be living out my thesis. Uh -huh. And my thesis this year, my argument is that people will grow, but only through the refining fire of failure. And I talk about taking risk and how taking that action, if you don't take it, that's actually the failure. And it's, I realized that if I didn't take this step, I would not be living out what I was preaching. Okay, mm -hmm. very good, I like that. Thank you. Um, you say your dad is your inspiration. Yes, sir. How so? Because of his character. I really love my dad, and he, I'm more of an emotional person, and he's more of a logical person. And so we. So, right brain, left brain. Yes, going on exactly. There. Like, if he needs help with like a sibling or with my mom or something like that, I help him out. And if I need help with keeping my emotions in check, he helps me. And it's just really cool because he's just somebody that has so much humility and yet he has accomplished so much in his life, and he doesn't take things for granted, which I really love about him, and he's just always been there and just really been a really great dad. You being a teenager in the Valley, okay. what is the biggest thing missing for teens in this Valley? My dad, he said that there used to be an arcade, which I think it yep. used to be in the J.C. Penney Old Navy area in Wenatchee, and we were literally talking about that the other day. But I was like, "Man, wouldn't that be cool?" There, if there was, was a big a arcade place? that was in the Wenatchee Valley Mall too. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So I thought that would be so cool if 
we had a place like that where all these kids could come together and actually interact rather than just being on their phones, I guess. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, that is interaction, but it's different when it's face to face. What has the pandemic taught you? To be grateful for every single second that I have with people, no question. And also, it taught me to be close to my family. This process of top 10 to go towards pageant and mm -hmm. running around and everything, and it's crazy. Yes, it's sir. a lot. It is a lot. What's the hardest part of that for you? Not getting to be with my family again. Probably just time. But I'm so glad for the time that I do have with all of these girls. But I definitely miss being with my little brother and my little sister and getting to be with my mom and my dad and my big sister. I have a final question that I give every one of you. It's a little <laughs> bit of a curveball. Okay. I'm Hopefully ready. they haven't been talking about it backstage. No, they haven't. Okay, all right. Good. They've been good about that. Okay, good. You have a, three choices, okay. Ryan. Okay, ready? Okay. You can go skydiving, you can go deep sea diving, or take a long drive. Which would you choose and why? Skydiving. Really? Mm hmm. Because I am scared of heights. And I want to jump out of that plane and conquer that. Really? Yes, sir. So if I'd asked you that two years ago, before pandemic, mm. would your answer be the same? I think so. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's fair. I've always been about conquering fears, and I definitely will want to do that. Okay. Well, best of luck in all of this. Thank you very much. I'm very proud of all 10 of you. You guys are doing great. Thank you so much. You bet. Ryan Salcedo joining us here. One of our top 10 candidates set will vie for the top three coming up this Saturday. It all starts with the countdown to coronation here on the NCW Live channel at 630 and of course the pageant at 7 right here.